Okay, little uh, little update. Uh, been a week since I last had a bike ride, and effectively I've been sick all week. Damn it! <laughs> uh, first started out as sinus <coughs> problem, then went a bit chesty, sinusy, chesty. Ugh. So anyway, uh, I'm starting to sort of recover, but uh, I feel like I've sort of really missed out on a good week's training, and. Uh, so I'm out here up in the hills behind uh, one thaggy again and just not sure if you can see much there but it's pretty damn awesome. Uh, up pretty much on the top plateau here behind uh, Glen Elby. Uh, cows out there just looking at me thinking what the hell is that bloke doing? So a uh, little update. Uh, the week, I've spent the week uh, monitoring I suppose what the national team's doing at trials. <coughs> And um, I've probably been surprised by a few things that have sort of happened result-wise, but um, some most most stuff has been pretty as per you would expect. Most of the athletes performing like you'd expect. There's been a couple of surprises. Um, so I don't know if there's been an official announcement, but it looks like uh, there's going to be a lot of athletes heading overseas to the World Cup in Lucerne, ourselves ourselves included. So um, that's the positive, and. Uh, yeah, what can I say? I'm just looking forward to being healthy again. It's starting to get me down, to be honest. Um, had chicken pox this year, had my rib, never had a chest infection. Uh, you know, <coughs> just, anyway, I'm looking forward to it all being over. So, up here in the hills, and I'm about to, uh, what have I done? I've done about an hour. Power wise is three uh, oh, three seventy one for the hour so far. So, look, considering I haven't done anything all week, and you know I have felt pretty damn ordinary. Um, yeah, not too bad, I suppose. Uh, I am starting to get a little worried. Yeah, you know, it's been now a full oh, six weeks, I suppose, with my rib, which effectively uh, six weeks with my rib means that basically, you know, apart from the base conditioning, I've probably lost all the stuff that was, uh, that was effectively um, the good stuff, like feeling like you're in good form at the Nationals and all that sort of stuff, so it's going to be a long way back uh, to that. I suppose the name of the game is going to be having a bit of patience. I'm sure by Lucerne it'll be fine. Um, but yeah, it really takes a hit to the motivation because... Like every time you have to build back, and over my career, I've gotten used to sort of coming back from injuries and illness, and I mean, all athletes do, but I suppose I've had uh, more than my fair share. <laughs> so, what do I do? Um, I just ignore the long term stuff. At the moment, I'm forgetting all about um, world selection, even Lucerne, and just focusing purely on um, the session I can do at the time and, uh, and just listening to my body and doing the most I can. So, it's really baby steps going right back to the square one and not getting caught up and comparing myself to where I was six weeks ago but rather just trying to become very clear about where I am now so it's about being very uh, very realistic or, or facing facts about the current situation and then um, I suppose keeping uh, keeping in the back of my mind or that sort of sense that uh, that it will come form will come once time permits so so it's not easy, so motivation takes a hit, and obviously I haven't spent any time on the boat, so technically I'll have taken a hit. But, have you guess what? I am 90.5 kilograms. So to all those out there who have uh, worried about my body weight, those close to me, probably more so than anything else, uh, I'm 90.5. I don't think it's any muscle though. <laughs> I'm not sure what it is. A bit of fluid retention, a bit of fat, I'm not sure. Um, but I suppose that's a positive thing because at least when I'm starting back now, I can uh, build on that and probably carry a little bit more bulk, which might make me a bit more resilient uh, or robust, we used to say. I want to be robust for the season ahead. So anyway, uh, looking forward to catching up with some of the athletes soon once I'm healthy again and uh, seeing how trials went wrapped up and uh, looking forward to getting down and dirty. Once uh, Josh comes to Melbourne, start running the pair in Melbourne and start teaming up with uh, Dunks and and Nick and uh, getting this full firing. Looking forward to it. So until then, out here in the hills, lovely, lovely.
wonderful. Did I say wonderful? Exceptional, sensational. There you go. Till next time, over and out.